All right, boys and girls, so we are finally reviewing the Final Mouse ULX. I'm not gonna call it the Starlight like I did before when I or when I recorded this video, but I'm re-recording because I want it to be more clear and concise and quick because I don't think these videos need to be that long, quite honestly. We reviewed a million mice and we're all used to them. Just some are more expensive than others. But let's talk about what I do like about the Final Mouse ULX. So this mouse is ultra light, it's in the name, and yeah, it's 38 grams, which is absolutely ridiculous. I did do a slight mod to the scroll wheel that's probably about a gram or so, probably not even that, maybe it's half of a gram. So this might be 37 and some change on the scale without the small mod that I did. But we'll talk about why I did that mod in the first place in a bit here but i do like the weight it's not life-changing i have used other lightweight mice in the past that are around like the 45 to 50 gram range and i have used the starlight 12 in the past as well that was i believe in the mid 40s this is the same size of the starlight 12 that i've used and i can hardly tell a difference other than the fact that this does not have a cold to the touch feel because instead of a metal construction this is a carbon fiber construction and the carbon fiber build quality is quite nice as well like i really don't have any issues with my build quality it's pretty good There is no creaking. I'm not squeezing the mouse and holding it in a death grip because that's just not what I do. And that's also not practical for probably any piece of technology that you decide to use. Construction is pretty good. The skates are smooth. The clicks are good. The browser-based software is class leading. That's what everybody in the industry should be going toward. It's just the way that things should be. And I'm glad that Wooting and Final Mouse are both leading the charge with some high-end products that use this browser-based software. Let's talk about what I don't like. So if some of you guys follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen when I got this mouse about three weeks ago that I absolutely hated the scroll wheel as soon as I pulled it out of the box. I was like, yo, what is going on with this scroll wheel? And it, it literally does not have enough grip on the scroll wheel. So I ended up putting a uh, piece of Pulsar Super Glide mouse tape on the scroll wheel, which gave it a lot more grip and made it a lot more usable because pretty much what was happening, I was scrolling and sometimes because the app, well, anyways, before I was so really interrupted by Discord call, <laughs> the scroll wheel is really slippery and like it does have a texture to it, but it's very slippery. Therefore, it would lead to you scrolling or feeling like you're scrolling, but it would actually be skipping. Now, the fact that the encoder is also extremely tactile doesn't help that much at all um, because again you gotta use a lot of force to scroll it and it's a little bit slippery so sometimes it will feel like i actually completely missed scrolling putting that little piece of super grip on made a huge difference try out the 10 20 mod that this is on your 200 dollars mouse and i'm telling you it'll make a big difference i also had some connection issues that i was just using this mouse over like multiple six to eight hour time periods where literally like it, i would be you know swiping and then it would drop in the middle of my swipe which is not very good for a competitive level product that is also, you know, 200 bucks is pretty expensive. Um, so as the software started to get better, because I did talk to Final Mouse about the issues I was having and they've been working on it, and apparently it's related to Wi-Fi radios and whatnot. I've never experienced that on any of the gaming mouse mice that I've tried in the past. And I have a lot of them and I have had a lot of them that I don't even have now. It seems to be better on the latest firmware. I've played about eight hours and I have not had the same issue. And I've been playing on like multiple six to eight hour time spans uh, just for a similar sample size. And again, I've had this mouse for three weeks. I didn't just pull it out of the box and drop a review. With that being said, the connection issue seemed to be fixed and it is slowly restoring my confidence in the product because again, I've never experienced that. But um, yeah, just something I thought I'd mention to you guys because if you think that you're having a lot of connection issues early on and you don't think you wanna keep it, uh, try to update the firmware first and also, uh, if you're still having issues and you just don't want to deal with it because the mouse is pretty expensive and it's not that impressive to you, just go ahead and return it. My final verdict, I think that it's a cool product and the carbon fiber and everything is cool, but like it's just a mouse. It's not going to make me switch from um, a 50, 55 gram or 45 gram mouse 
This is not gonna make me switch alone without it being in a shape that I want. The shape is okay, it's very middle of the road and it's pretty easy to recommend, but um, you can use a claw grip, you can use a fingertip grip. Palm grip is gonna be pretty close to impossible unless you just have really small hands. At this point, what I wanna see next from Final Mouse is I wanna see them start to experiment with different shapes. They've got the construction element, in my opinion, down, the material aspect down, um, change the scroll wheel, non-negotiable, this thing sucks. Put a little bit of rubberized coating on the scroll wheel as well, like change it, make it smoother. It can still be tactile, but it can be smoother than what it is now. This is just way too jarring for most people, especially if they try a lot of mice, some people might hate it. And I've talked to other people in DMs too, and they don't love it. And uh, have your products actually be available. I know you guys are working on it. Get all the people and the early adopters out of the way. They want the mouse and have it in stock so everybody can try it.